Head on over to G2A and enter Kami's Crystal Cave to get some sweet deals on crystals and more. Remember to click on the lowest price and use the promo code KAMIVS to get the best deal. G2A. What's going on everyone? Kami here. And today we're going to be playing on the PTS again. I know, I know. But we're playing Grover. Grover didn't get any changes with the talents or loadouts or numbers, no buff damage or anything like that. But, well, kind of buff numbers. One big change happened where you would normally shoot your axes into a deployable or a shield. It would normally do the minimum damage every single time. Now the damage scaling is going to work on deployables and shields. Sadly, there's no shields on the other team, so that's kind of a bummer. But there is a deployable being the Ying Illusion, so that kind of worked. I uh, don't think I want to go Ferocity. Don't know if... Oh, I just tried to play a Frog Owl game with... Uh, ferocity was rough. Uh, we can try going deep roots. That might be okay. Being able to lock some people down and force them to go resilience. There's no other reason why they would want to go resilience. So deep roots, I think, would be a solid bet. And then we want to go with cooldown reduction. Uh, we want the right click off. So damage reduction, net relief. So this is hitting an enemy with crippling throw, reduces the cooldown of blossom, and then reduce the cool. Uh, sure, we'll do this one. I don't know, man. And then we want cauterize, but we probably wanted to go morale booster chronos. Kami, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Missed the cripple throw, or missed the roof there, so that sucks. Gotta get a couple of shots there, and that is about it. He's rooted. We probably want to drop down. Oh, he's so mad. We want to leave. I would like to leave now. I would like to leave now. Okay, we're leaving. Now, there is a tech you can do with the Grover Vine that I'm going to try to pull off, but I'm just not good at it yet. We're out of combat regen right now. Not good at it yet. So, here's the trick. So, let me show you. Normally, I can't bind there, but I can bind there. Can I pull that off? So, I can't bind there. Or can I not bind? Hold on. Uh, wait, time out. Time out. Hold on a minute. I can't, I can't, I can bind there, but I can't bind there. So, watch. And that's kind of the tech you can do with Rover. I was trying to find an example, but the way that you do it is you hold the button down and when it's green, you have to let go and it snap to where you want to go. So if I wanted to go up there, you let go, then you snap up there and you're able to do it. It's kind of similar to the Fernando tech with the moonwalking. I hope at some point, I, I hope they don't nerf it at some point. Also, okay, it's not working. Oh, it's not working. Oh, damn it. I just, that was just me like trying to do it like eight times and failing. Um, I hope they don't remove it. I think it's pretty cool, uh, but it's definitely not intending the way that it should be played, so it probably will be removed at some point. So enjoy it while you got it, I guess. I don't really think it's abusing, because it requires a decent amount of, like, knowledge, know-how, and then also execution. It just doesn't happen for free. Oh yeah, and I forgot there's a buyback, so if I if I buy Kronos and I want to buy it, sell it back, I think you I think you just have to buy this, and it just refunds everything that you bought before you close the thingy. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. If you're into that sort of thing. Our cooldown on our crippling throw is seven seconds with the reduced cooldown of three seconds. So uh, six, five, four, four seconds. So each level takes off only a, uh... oh no, we might be dead here. Barely staying alive. It only takes off like 0.4 seconds every single time. So it's not great. Oh, hello. Mmm, we flying. We flying. Now we have to hit it with our right click. I think you have to actually hit something. I don't know if it works on Ah-ha-ha! Ha. That's so cool, dude! Show a little bit to the right. Ooh. Oh, look! We're damage scaling on non-illusions! Or non-people! Oh, we're flanking. We're flanking, team. I'm coming back, team! My flank didn't work out too well, but guess what? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again unless Jay dies. Jay didn't die yet. Don't worry about it. Don't look behind you. Whatever you do. Oh! Okay. The... It does not work that way. The, uh... The vine does not work in the same way that the... The Voris does. I was so excited. I was so excited. Oh, I just keep holding on left click, dude. To have the left click work like that. And it just doesn't. It just doesn't. That's a feels bad, man. That's a, that's a big feels bad, man. Ooh. 
Big damage getting shot at right now, but we're fine. We're fine. We're dead. But we're still fine. And that's what's the important part. Overtime procking down. Feeling bad, man. Not going to be able to get there in time. But hey, we learned Grover Tech today. And mainly I just I played Grover for the first time after I learned about Grover Tech, which was like months ago. <laughs> and two, we learned that the vine doesn't work the same way as for him. It's been so long since I played Grover. I was like, oh, man, is this what Grover vine feels like? It doesn't. It feels abysmal. I'm assuming you might be able to do the Vora, the Grover Tech onto the Vora and get some crazy vines like that'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. Let's give the old Tonto Runo. Give it the old lean. No, I got the I got the pound your chest like a gorilla. Okay, got it. Do we want cauterize? Maybe. I don't know. Do we really care about Kronos? I wouldn't mind getting morale boost. I just don't know what I want on this guy. I guess we go Kronos. Or I guess we go cauterize because we're left clicking on people a bunch. Sure. Try to find more opportunities to do the Grover Vine Tech. That's a quick ult, my friends. Quick ult. We're gonna drop down so we can get healed. And I mean, that kind of turned into a. Um, that kind of turned uh, the shots into like an actual killing machine right there, kind of. If, if that makes sense. Like, I could kill it in two, two hits. Power. 190. Man, that damage reduction is just insane. Like, it actually blows me away. You want to play employer? I'm always, I, every time I Corvus Ults, I'm like, eh, I could shoot that. Once more, he rises. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're cool, we're cool, we're just ulting people, we're just... Oh, that, that heal didn't reach over there? That's a bummer. Whee! Whoop! I don't think the I don't think the Paladin's hitbox is gonna save me there. Oh, almost pulled off the Grover Tech there, Vine Tech to be able to do a 180 and just fly way up in the air. That'd have been pretty cool. You really gotta think about like, I mean, it's pretty simple in general. You just gotta know where do I want to be at this moment. Do I have a Vine that's actually possible to hit to get into a safe spot? Yes. Look at a nearby area that you know you can Vine. Snap up to it. I mean, that's pretty much it. So if I just wanted to vine up there, I could just vine down here and then snap up there and then be able to vine where I want to vine. But it just kind of requires you to have relatively good... Ooh, coming up behind the Ying. I think, I think there's a Ying over here too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I was almost dead there. Ooh, peek a -boo. Peek over to the left side? No. Found you. I found you, Miss Lou Booty. Bring it together, bring it back to me. So I want to vine up there. Fine. Snap up. Oh my goobers, it's insane. It's actually insane. Like I I don't know. It's just I'm just I'm just kind of doing random snaps here. Not really paying attention too much where I'm actually gonna vine, if it's actually gonna be helpful. Oh no. But this cooldown reduction is feeling really good. I think I wanna go a lot more Kronos. I wanna go a lot more Kronos to get our right clicks off and our vines off. Because that's just more time to have fun. Ooh, that's bad. We don't want to do anything about that. Are we dead zoned right now? Hope you're not dead zoned. You look like you're slightly dead zoned. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Grover turns into a bit of a fragging machine. I mean, not really, because I'm close range there, and I'm only doing like 300 damage an axe, and like, it's really bad. But uh, the fact that you're like can Grover tech and Vine tech, it's just like, I don't know, opens up a lot of possibilities for Grover being able to get out of situations he normally couldn't get out of. It just makes, it almost like, it's kind of relative to, um, oh my god, I barely kept him alive. It's kind of relative to the... Grok Totem, where it's like, you if you could do that. It's just like, it's a, it's a nerf, it's a fix to it without actually getting buffed. <laughs> it's so good, dude. And I already have the cooldown off because of the eliminations. Oh, you kidding me, dude. 
it's just, it's so good. I can't express that enough. Oh, you just can get out for free. You can get out of places. Is it too good? I mean, that's the question, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's so good. I can't get over that. I might be playing a lot more girl over here soon because like this is fun. That's the only thing that's really pulling me to the to the champion, though. The rest of it is like pretty boring in the sense of like axes and like needing to keep range and stuff like that. But the the amount of move and, and then like if I think to myself on that one, it's like I'm having a lot of fun with this. Does Vora have cooldown reduction off of elimination? I may really like Vora with the vines. You do a lot of crazy things. <laughs> but like, man, I just would prefer Vora's left click to just be like Grover's left click and fire this quick. I, I would just rather that even if that's a DPS loss because you don't have the, the light light attack. It's just like all medium attacks it might even be like all heavy attacks, but it's just it feels better to play that. And I would literally prefer that than like medium light light heavy. I'm going to stop talking about Bora and things I don't like with her because people are like, Kami, you should get better at her. Or like, Kami, she's actually really good. And it's like, eh, maybe. Eh, maybe. Brown boost? Nimble. Nimble for the speed. We got our Chronos 3. That's another 1.2 seconds off of our cooldown. I want to look at my loadout real quick because I feel like I'm dumb. It's just, it's just the elimination. Wait. No, it's just it's the cooldown in general. I'm confused. Alright. I just I feel like sometimes the cooldown comes up like immediately. I'm very much confused. That's a dead zone, dead Z's. You still dead zone? Nope, you get healed, okay. The flanking Grover! The flanking Grover! Let's go! <laughs> Come on. Oh my god! Oh. oh, it's so good, dude. This is so stupid. I'm having I'm having fun, guys. I'm actually having fun. It's crazy. I'm having fun on Grover. Trying to shoot this Willow in midair. Willow! Willow! Okay, Willow. Okay there, Willow. Hello, Willow. See, why is my why is my vine off cooldown again? Is it like rigging the Oh, I see. Get over! Come on! What is this cooldown reduction? Am I blo am I am I breaking it? What do I have? Reset the cooldown. Okay, that that should be proc'd right now. I don't have card cooldowns on this apparently. Oh damn! He had a uh, dead zone on him. I don't think I should be having that many cooldown reductions off. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I should move, yes? Infernal? Don't move. No moving allowed. What's happening? Okay, we got him rooted. Teleporting back. I can't tell how much in-air accuracy there is. Oh, we're missing all these shots. They already have the cooldown off. I think I'm glitching it, dude. I think this is actually glitched. But every time I go to check. <laughs> I'm so confused. Ugh. We're flying, we're dying. Let's see if we can land right up in here. Hello. No one expects the uh, the out of nowhere Grover, you know. That's insane. The Grover, the Grover Vine Tech is insane, and it also feels like I'm very much interested to watch back on that replay or that on that recording because that was stupid, dude. Like that was stupid. This is the first time I've ever played with the Vine Tech, and this actually makes Grover good. Guys, use it if you're playing Grover, 100%. Aim at an area that you can use your Vine. Hold the the button down. When you let go, snap to anywhere in the map, and you'll Vine to it. Yeah. 
that uh that needs to be fixed but also like it feels so good like i wish there was something they could do to grover to make this fair like if he could always vine like that because he doesn't have the mobility in the in the momentum shift that he wants when he vines in comparison to like Vora, because I love Vora's vine. But then with, with Grover, the plus side is I could just vine wherever I want. And it did feel like, it did feel like when I vined the way that I wanted to with the with the vine tech, you kind of got the Vora-esque uh, acceleration off of it. I don't know, really interesting. Give it a try, man. I'm not trying to tell you here to, to abuse bugs. I, that's the last thing I want you guys to do, but it's so much fun. And like, if, it, if it's causing the issue of me vining and not using the cooldown because I'm technically swapping right before I'm able actually to vine, so it vines, but it doesn't count as a cooldown, that's cheating. And I'll probably stop doing it there. But we have only a, I don't even need the increased vine range. <laughs> I, uh, it seems pointless. Reduce the cooldown of vine for four seconds after hitting an enemy with crippling throw. Okay, that was it, that was it. We were just hitting with a crippling throw afterwards. Yes, we did have a way to reduce the cooldown of our, of our vine. That's how we were getting our vines up so quick. And what's the cooldown of vine? Let me check this real quick. Grover, vine has an eight second cooldown. We had level three chronos, which means it was going down by 2.4, which means it was a uh, 5.6 cooldown, six, seven, yeah. 5.6 cooldown and then we were going what do we have we have the gaga smurf one yeah we were getting four seconds so if we bump that to a five does net relief one happen to a five no that's the blossom one i think four is actually enough but if we bump that to a five it's immediate and i don't think you really need that yeah dude and then our and our crippling now it's fun okay try it out flying grover tech uh, amazingness and you can still get that amount of cooldown all the time you just vine then right click then vine then right click it seems legit and if you're vining way up in the air you have so much air time that, that gives you time to be able to pull off stuff and you saw how i vined up in the air and then i ulted as i was dropping it's also good dude it's a lot of fun give it a try uh if you don't know how to do it i told you a few times rewind it watch it you can see how i do it and i'll explain i explained how i do it but anyway i'm gonna head out of here let me know what you think about grover uh with the grow with the scaling we didn't really get to see it too much i think it's gonna be okay it's nice but like it's not gonna be broken they took it out a while ago because there were so many shield characters that it was just too good for how many shield characters there were but now that there's not as many shield characters it seems okay it seems it seems fine now to do i think that's why they're justifyingly doing it because they took it away a while ago now they're bringing it back anyway let me know what you think about grover i'm gonna head out of here hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time hey thanks for watching i'm not gonna be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe so i'm not gonna ask